I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our Free Math Solutions WhatsApp group for participating actively. We see students posting questions and also providing solutions. It seems many of them are working or preparing for the same competitions. Well, here is a very interesting question posted by Theo, which is based on time and work. I have copied the question here. And uh, the solution was also provided by another student, Baharani. That's the solution. Now, my input will be to discuss the solution provided and also to give you a shortcut method to do the same, right? That's the whole idea. And that is how we can actually uh, work efficiently and understand the solutions better. So the question has been rewritten in a simplified form here. It says A and B can do a piece of work in six days. A and C can do the same work in nine days. A, B, C together can complete this work in one third of the time taken by A alone. In how many days will A, B and C together complete this work? Right? That's the question. So we'll follow two methods. Method number one, right? So let's write down method one here. Now this is a standard method where we consider time taken by each and then we say in one day how much work is done by them put together, right? So let us say A, B and C, A takes a days, B takes B days, and C takes C days working alone, right? So alone, uh, it is A, B, and C days by each one of them to complete the work. So that is what it is. Now we'll form equations. We say A and B can do a piece of work in six days. So that really means A's contribution will be one over A, right? In one day, right? So in six days, it is completed. We are just making an equation for one day work. So we get one over A plus one over B equals to one sixth of the work, correct? So we get one equation. Second equation, A and C can do the work in nine days. That means one over A plus one over C is equal to one over nine. Third equation, A, B, C together will complete this work in one third of the time taken by A alone, right? So that means A takes three times the time, right? So A, B, C together, so when they do together, one over A plus 1 over b plus 1 over c now this time is one third of this we could also write this as 3 over a do you see that so because these are reciprocals you get the idea right so that is how we get this equation so we have our three equations to work with what we need to find is in how many days will A, B, and C together complete this work? So we really want to find uh, the value of all this, right? Together, how much time will they take to do the job? That is the idea. Now what we could do is rearrange these equations and write them all in terms of A, right? So 1 over B could be written as 1 over 6 minus 1 over a 1 over c can be written as 1 over 9 minus 1 over a so in this last equation i'll substitute the value of 1 over b and 1 over c right so what we get here is basically uh, in this equation we get 1 over a we'll keep it as such and instead of 1 over b i'm going to write this as 1 over 6 minus 1 over a and instead of 1 over C, I'll write 1 over 9 minus 1 over A, and that is equals to 3 over A. Is that clear? So this speed is one third, right? So reciprocal, 3 will go in the denominator. This is A over 3, right? Okay. Now, as you can see here, we can simplify this a bit. 
So, so all these A terms I'm bringing to one side, these two are cancelling. Uh, let's cancel this one over here, one over here. So from here, we get 1 over 6 plus 1 over 9 is equals to 3 over A plus 1 over A. Okay. Now, so that gives you 4 over A. And on this side, we have 54. That is a common denominator you can write. I'm, I could have taken actually 18, right? right? Let's take 18. So, okay, let's take 18 as our common denominator. Let's redo. So, we have this equation, which is, we can take 1 over 18 as a common denominator. So, we get 3 plus 2, which is 5 equals to 4 over A, right? So, cross multiplies, we get 5 over 18 equals to 4 over A. Right? Now, you can see that the work which we are interested in finding is 3 over A, right? Total work is 3 over A, correct? So, of all this. So, what should that be? So, we could now multiply both sides by 3 over 4. So, let's say 3 over 4 times 5 over 18 equals to 3 over 4 times 4 over A, right? So, I've done this so that we get 3 over A on the right side, correct? So, we get 3 over A since this cancels, right? We can simplify this portion. 3 goes 6 times. And so what we get here is 5 over 24. Correct? Now, as you can see, the work done by all of them together is 3 over A. Correct? So from here, what we get here is that the work done, number of days will be, we have to isolate A, right, from here, right? So, so 3 over A is this, 5 over 24. And the day is taken, now we can write the time taken to complete the work. So, complete work by all of them together will be equal to 24 over 5, correct? Since this is the total work done, right? 1 over t, right? So, so this is total number of days, 3 over a. If you link these two, let's, let's now link these two. So let's, this is our equation 2. And this is our equation 1. So, from here, we can write that 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is equal to 5 over 24. Is that correct? So, see. So, the equation says that A and B can do a piece of work in 6 days. 6 was in denominator, right? So, A, B, C together can do it in 24 over 5 days. Correct? Which is, you can divide by 4, 24 over 5 days. Is that clear to you? So, that is how you could do with standard method. And now, we are going to use efficiency method to do the same question once again. Perfect. Now, in many competitive exams, we have very limited time and therefore, we follow some non-standard methods. So, here is our method number two. A and B can do a piece of work in six days, right? So, these two persons, A and B, right? So, A plus B, we can say, they can do the work in six days. So, so that is the number of days they take to complete a work. A and C can do a work in nine days. So, A plus C, they can do it in nine days. A, B, C together will complete this work in one third of the time taken by A alone. But well, let's first work on these two. So the idea here is we don't know how much work is there. 
To figure this out, we take the LCM. So we figure out what is the work and that is normally given by the LCM. So I could have taken LCM here as 18, right? So we can take 18 as our LCM, right? Now, if I take 18 as my LCM, we are saying that is the total work, right? Now, we have to figure out how much is the efficiency which is work done per day, right? So now we'll say work per day. So work per day is also treated as efficiency. And therefore, sometimes we refer this method to be as an efficiency method, right? So if there is a total work unit of 18, then in one day, A and B can do three units of work, right? So these are units of work, work per day. And A and C will do two units of this work, right? So and therefore, they will complete the work in nine days. Now, if you add them up, efficiencies can be added, right? So if you add them up, what do you get? You get A plus B plus C plus A and this total efficiency is 5. That means they can do so much units of work per day total. Now it is important to understand that the equation is A, B and C together will complete this work in one third of the time taken by A alone, right? So A will do one third of the work, right? This means A efficiency is one third of combined clear so see if this is my group let's say that is the group let's call this group as t in that case a is contributing one third of t clear a is contributing one third of t and all this is equal to five units right so all this is equals to five units you get the idea right now if you combine this you can find what t is so when you add them up you get 3t plus t over 3 is equal to 5 and that is 4t over 3 right 4t over 3 is 5 and therefore the value of t total work done efficiency of the whole team together is 5 times 3 over 4. Is it clear? So, the efficiency of A, B and C is 15 over 4. You can say this as equal to 15 over 4. Now, we need to find total work done by the team, right? So, time taken for the team. together so together they you have 18 units of work right so units of work over the efficiency clear so that is the time taken units of work we took as 18 right so 18 over 15 over 4 is that okay so which is 18 times 4 over 50. Now, we can actually simplify this. So when you simplify, cancel 3. 3 goes 6 times, 3 goes 5 times. So we get this as equal to 24 over 5, which is same as 4, 4 over 5 days. Is that clear to you? So again, look into this efficiency method. It is very fast. A plus B, 6. A plus C, as you read, you can write your equation. The LCM is 18. We are saying total work is worth 
18 units. So that means out of this, every day, A and B will do 3 units of work, right? So in 6 days, they will do 18 units. A and C can do 2. Together means adding them all. We get 5 here and we get A plus B plus C plus additional A, right? Twice A is working. But we know efficiency of A is one third of the team together. So that gives you 4 over 3T and T comes out to be 15 over 4. So that is the efficiency of A, B and C. Total units to 18 divided by 15 over 4 gives you the number of days which this team is going to take. So if you do with this method, you can definitely find the answer in around a minute, right? So, so I hope that is why people practice with this method of efficiency for such competitive exams where especially multiple choice uh, questions are given. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and join the group and participate as actively as all people are doing it. So let me once again thank the team here working so hard in providing excellent questions and also sharing their knowledge. Thank you and all the best.